So, you need to transfer all your phone's files to another device. Well, here's an easy to follow and quick tutorial for you on how to transfer all your files from your current phone to another phone. I do want to mention that this tutorial will feature an old Android device and a new Android device transfer. So if you're looking for transfer files between an Android and iOS devices, I actually made a separate video about it which you can check in the video description below. For this video, I have an old Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that I've been using for the past 3 years, and on the other is the new Realme GT Neo 2. As you can see, the GT Neo 2 is fresh from its first boot up. I did not connect any Google account to it nor is it connected to Wi-Fi. It's basically empty. Later on, we'll transfer all the files from the Galaxy Note 9 to this phone. So the program that we're going to use in this video is the one from Dr. Phone called Phone Transfer. If you're not familiar with Dr. Phone, they are under the same umbrella as the creators of Filmora, which is Wondershare. Dr. Phone is basically an all-in-one toolkit for everyone who needs mobile device solutions. Phone Transfer is just one of the tools we're going to use to transfer data. Other tools include unlocking your screen phone if you forget the password, recovering deleted data, backing up data, and even transferring WhatsApp data. If you want to know more about Dr. Phone and its other tools, I will leave the links in the description box below. As for phone transfer, the program transfers all types of data including contacts, messages, files, and even calendar notes with a single click of a button. So to start things off, we need to download Dr. Phone. The installation process is pretty simple. If you follow the video, you'll be able to install Dr. Phone on your computer easily. Once installed, just leave phone transfer open. Now, we need two devices and two cables since we're going to connect them to the laptop or computer. You can do this process wirelessly so you need to find yourself a pair of cables. First, connect the old device to the laptop. Dr. Phone will automatically detect the old device and will require special permission for a seamless transfer process. In this case, we need to enable USB debugging mode. To do so, we just need to tap on the build number multiple times until developer options show in the settings. If you have a Samsung phone, this is how you do it. Next is the old device. The process is pretty much the same. Enable USB debugging in the developer settings. If you can find the developer settings, here's how you do it on a Realme device. Connect the new device to the laptop and press allow on the phone when it asks for permission. Once Dr. Phone recognizes the new device, we can start choosing what files to transfer. Simply put a check mark on the boxes of the files you wish to transfer and press start transfer. Do take note that some apps won't successfully install and will require some user interaction before the transfer process completes. I'm not sure what's the reason behind it, but I recommend taking note of the apps that weren't transferred so that you can manually install them later on. Dr. Phone will require both the old and new devices to switch the default app to its own messaging app, which is called Connector in this case. This step is required so that your messages will be transferred to the new device. Once the transfer is complete, we can now check the new device with the transferred files. And that's it. As I said earlier, Dr. Phone's transfer also works with Android to iOS or vice versa. The process is a bit different however with the iOS device, so I suggest watching my old video for that. You can try the trial version of Dr. Phone but some features may not be available, so if you're interested, 
you can check out the prices of the toolkit or just the tool you like. I will leave all the links you need including the download link of phone transfer in the description box below. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. That's about it for this one. Drop a sub or a like if you feel supporting the channel and until the next one, stay safe.